Dear audience, today we are going to learn about the functional and true end arteries. These are terms so according to the status of the precapillary anastomosis. As the term is precapillary, so this anastomosis will definitely occur before forming capillary, that is between arteries. This may be between arterioles also, but we will fix the words between arteries for better understanding. In this image, these are the capillaries. It is one artery and it is another artery. These are the veins. Here is the anastomosis between arteries by which collateral circulation is maintained either in case of any physiological or pathological demand of one side. That means if any blockade occurs in this artery, prior to the anastomosis, blood can come from other artery through this anastomosis and supply the affected area. This is the normal phenomenon. It is another image. This one is the precapillary anastomosis between arteries. This anastomosis may be functioning to compensate the physiological demand but is not sufficient to maintain collateral circulation on pathological demand. That means if any blockade occurs prior to this anastomosis in this artery, the area needs blood supply but this precapillary anastomosis is not sufficient to bring the blood from the other artery. For this reason, the cells of this area will be damaged and lost their functions. These arteries are called functional end arteries. And in this image, two arteries run by themselves on their own way and no precapillary anastomosis is present between the adjacent branches. In case of blockade of one artery, there is no chance of any collateral circulation from surrounding arteries. The area supplied by the artery will be completely devoid of blood supply and leads to damage. This is true end artery. I hope you understand. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.